Good evening, friends. I hope the Facebook Live is coming through. Uh, um, all right, looks like we are live. All right, hi, everyone. Good evening. Welcome to the second episode of the Positivity Podcast. Today is the second day, and today I want to share with you a story from one of my friends. He was stuck in Bangalore traffic, and I'm sure that's not a new thing to anyone who is staying in Bangalore. And as he was stuck in the traffic and he, along with his six year old son and his wife, they were stuck. They were just looking at, they were just looking at a line of people just waiting in the line and, oh my God, what do we do about this? That's, what, that, that's when they heard this, that is when they heard this noise. And that was the noise of a siren. And that was an ambulance that was passing through. As the ambulance passed through, everyone in the car held their hands and they prayed for whoever is in that ambulance. I hope they recover soon. That's what they said. Yes, including the six year old boy. And when my friend shared the story with me, when we were at office that was i mean that was really deep sharing because when it comes to uh praying when was the last time you prayed for someone else and i think in today's world in today's situation this is a key factor for all of us so the next time you see the catastrophe and update on coronavirus you see more patients being uh, shown on the either on the television or you read about them in the newspaper just pray for them i hope they get better soon because my friends what is love love is not taking love is all about giving the more you do for others the stronger the feeling becomes and i think this is a perfect opportunity to practice this particular philosophy so the next time you see something like this on your television on your whatsapp on your laptop or even in the newspaper pray for each and every victim and i'm sure this positive vibe will not only help to motivate and boost your morale it also sends out a positive vibe into the nature as well now the second thing that i had promised is uh, the second thing is something that i had promised in yesterday's podcast and that was the positive affirmations now you might say what is this positive affirmations these affirmations are nothing but positive sentences that you speak to yourself and what does that do that helps to boost your morale when you speak them in a firm way every day with belief in them these sentences can do magic there are many such positive affirmations that you can find on the internet but I have picked out five of them specifically because they relate to the current situation of coronavirus. And the first one goes, I cultivate peace in my mind, heart and body. Take a moment, repeat this with me. I cultivate peace in my mind, heart and body. I'm healthy to be an example of health and happiness to others. I will be an example to my family of health and powerful fitness. Think about this. Is it not an inspiring thought? When you are an example of fitness to your family, there is nothing better to boost your morale and keep you positive during this time. I will think positive every day in every situation. And I think this is something that as you keep saying this on an everyday basis, on a daily basis, this is going to deepen its effect in your life. This is going to deepen its effect in our life. And the last one is, I am positive. I think this is one sentence that everyone is afraid of because nobody wants to be tested positive, but that's on the outside. On the inside, you want to be positive. So my friends, everyone who is watching this podcast today, if you're watching it live, if you are watching it recorded, keep these positive affirmations with you. I have kept them uh, in, the, in the message of this podcast itself 
and i really hope that we are all able to practice this so to sum up today's episode the next time you see a bad news happening on the television don't get clouded by that negativity pray for them pray for others because that is what makes you stronger use these affirmations every day and we will be using them every day as i do this podcast on day 3 we will end that podcast with these positive affirmations if you like these pass it on pass it on to your family pass it on to your friends and pass it on to each and every person that you care about that you pray about so today's episode was dedicated for praying for others let's hope that we can pray for others let's stay positive and let's be positive thank you